Knapp with uh, Coffee, uh, Lad with the Woods Coffee Bee Log. I'll get that name right. Uh, for Friday, September 27th. Yeah, because yesterday was the 26th, my mother's 83rd birthday. Anyways, um, this will be going up tonight, today. Um, there'll be video after this, but I broke down. I was bringing the ATV over to Trues, and I was going the back way, was gonna go down by Robertson Lake and then take the trails back to his place. I got as far as the Thomas farm. I know them, I know, I know Matt, and I just met his dad, but the grandparents, my dad knew his grandparents. So anyways, um, they were there, so they went and got an ATV, pulled me off the road, and uh, I just realized I didn't thank them. Um, um, Matt Thomas right there. Give me a second, guys. I hope this number still works. UT1. The number you have reached is not in service. No, the number I had for Matt's dead. Fuck. Well, I'll drive over there with the pickup truck. Um, I'm going to order uh, a belt for the ATV. We're sure it's at least that, maybe more. But, you know, the belt. <laughs> Amazon will bring one here tomorrow uh, for $81 plus tax. So we'll say 100 And uh, um, it'll be here like, you know, Amazon shows up seven days a week. It'll be here like my Amazon guy just left here not 20 minutes ago with uh, my latest order for groceries and stuff. Go figure, eh? So anyways, uh, the bikes broke down. It was I was taking it up there because a friend of Trues was coming up, so they were gonna go out and about and booting around and riding. So I was bringing it up there and then he was gonna drive me back. He was gonna pick himself up uh, some beer and stuff. Anyways, um, which is probably right where he's headed right now. He'll go to Hopetown Store is the easiest place to get beer. Instead of driving all the way to Lanark. So he hadn't had these yet from those friends at the Six Nations. And uh, so he was puffing on this. I said, it tastes like blueberry muffin. He's like, Jesus. Like, like he like, was surprised. I'm like, aren't these things just the coolest? So that's from Luke. I've fallen in love with these. I, I don't think I'd want to smoke anything else anymore. The problem is... Actually, it's not a problem because they're like, I think they retail for around $40, but Jesus, they last a long time. And there's this one's some powerful. Anyway, I'll order the belt. It'll come in late tomorrow afternoon, well, early in the evening. And then I'll run it up to True and then he'll uh, throw it in his uh, shop uh, at his place and uh, he'll change that out. So he'll probably start working on it tonight. He'll pull all the old stuff out just to make sure what, because you know, we don't know what caused it. So but uh, he'll soon find it. So um, it may be more, a lot more serious than that. And then uh, I won't be able to fix it financially because I've got to save up money for the uh, wood stove parts. Cause this is October now. Wood stove parts I need for True to come and do that job. And uh, then I still need the plumbing job done in the back and I need money for that. And I still haven't found workers yet. The people I thought I was hiring pulled the last minute uh, change and who is coming and then they're dictating terms to me i'm like ah, that's not for me so we just parted ways amicably i'm assuming i did anyways but uh yeah so i'm still looking for someone so none of the work i wanted got done yesterday or today um and i don't think i'm gonna find well i don't know somebody might turn up i shouldn't say i don't think i'm gonna find somebody i w probably will find somebody so just checking the time um now the only thing is, I was planning on going riding myself before he asked. I was going to go up to Silver Lake Reserve and stop in and get, because I found out they have the Buddha Boys gummies there that I can't get anywhere else. Well, I know where to get them now because I know who manufactures them. I didn't know that before. Now I do. So anyways, I was going to ride up there. There's trail system all the way up there. It's a good ride, too. And Silver Lake's a nice lake. Uh, I can hang out there. Uh, even just get a day pass for the campground there. It's a nice campground there. Silver Lake Provincial Park. Anyways, right across from there is a res, uh, you know, store and all that. And, of course, they sell all the good stuff there. Anyways, um, that was going to be my thing tomorrow or Sunday was the plan. 
But uh, when he when he asked, I'm like, I, I hate to say no to him, and I didn't need to go do that ride that bad. Like when it, when we get when I get it back from him, I'll go do that ride. I, we got still got riding time in, but what it does is it's going to force me to take the boat out because I want to go out and do something. So probably going to hook the boat up, and we're going to finally take her out in the water for a real fish, like I should have been doing. But I was telling uh, I hadn't seen True since I left uh, in August, and. Uh, I was telling them that the you know the wind conditions at Georgian Bay were just terrible. We, I just I couldn't get a break. Every day it was coming out of the north, northeast, east, north, northwest, and like that's when the water's too choppy for my boat to go in there and stuff. Um, I just couldn't get it. And then by the time I leave, that's when the wind was starting to blow up from the south. And then all of this month, steady southerly winds. And I'm like, I wish to, you know, I said, like, I, I think I said it, I joked with Lisa, I said, you should open up the campground because now we're getting the proper August weather, but in September. So I got to come back and do my fishing now. But of course, we were just joking, she's not going to open the campground, especially just for me. So, and it, even if she did let me stay there by myself, that, that wouldn't be safe. I don't think their insurance would allow it. But the other thing is, it wouldn't be any fun. There'd be nobody there. So if I needed something from the front, I don't, wouldn't have a choice. I have to go to Savo. Well, that's okay. But anyway, it was all a pipe dream. So, yeah, I guess uh, what we'll do is I guess we'll go fishing tomorrow. Take her over to uh, do what I say I want to do, Robertson Lake. He told me that Park Lake had a lot of boats on it fishing. Uh, the last couple of weekends so when he went when he went by today he said he saw a lot of boats out there so Park Lake is a smaller lake and it's not full of fish there I mean there's good size walleye pike bass everything in there but uh, if there's a lot of people on that disturbing the water because it's such a quiet lake normally the fish will be spooked it'll be no good <coughs> he said the water was just starting to cool off when he because he just took a swim and uh, I said, well, that's the perfect time. Not when it's cold. Well, when it's cold, it's okay. But I said, just as that water starts to flip, that kind of gets the walleye, I don't know, moving, doing whatever, but it's a good time to, to catch them. So Robertson Lake should be just on the cusp of that. So it's time to go. Well, I always know this anyway. October, November are two of my favorite times of year to fish. Like, you know, up until first freeze, right? So, I mean, you got the lakes to yourself, the fish are hungry, you know, trying to fat themselves up for, for winter. You know, you know where they're going, the walleye, because they stage in front of, you know, uh, back from where they're going to, to spawn. But, you know, it's usually like a, you know, mouth of a river, and then there's like a hole in front of it. Well, that hole is where they're going to hang out, at least in that general vicinity. Because because the river's coming in, they get steady food supply. And then come spring, when they're weak and, you know, not strong, because, you know, they barely eat all winter, they don't have far to go up to spawn. So, um, anyways, any fish, good fisherman actually knows that. So, I, I've, I've done that for years and been successful for years. So, Norm and I learned that. Oh, fuck. I mean, I, it's Norm I started walleye fishing with because I hadn't walleye fished before I met Norm. So, that's like 30 years ago when uh, when he learned me that. Uh, well, we both learned it. He, he learned it the same time and then he was teaching me and then uh, we went and did all these different things at the different lakes and I'm like yeah it all plays out true so anyway so I guess we're gonna go fishing because I really don't have any excuse I've got gas everything's working fine on the boat I said that about the ATV um, fishing rods are ready tackle box is ready that's it so he has the bike I'm not going riding, so I want to go out, so we'll go out in the boat tomorrow, I guess. So this evening, although my ride was cut short, at least I got a few miles in, but uh, you guys will see that, um, because you're going to be, this video goes up before those other videos, so I'm going to work now on editing and stuff, so as soon as I'm done with this, how many minutes are we into? I'm going to keep this kind of shorter. There's no other news I have um, for the last couple of days. I went and did groceries in Perth. Um, I did, I think I filmed going in. I'm not sure, I'll have to, I don't remember to check. Um, doing laundry today. Uh, uh, don't need to water the plants because I got two days of really good rain here. So they'll be good. I'll check them on Sunday and if they start to feel dry, I'll throw the sprinkler on. They've had a good feed, so they're good for a few days for their next speed. And uh, 
yeah so I'll deal with that I don't need the ATV to walk back there um, nothing going on inside I'm not really doing anything big changes there nothing yeah so and uh, I was gonna do a gumbo but I don't have I went and ate the chicken that I was gonna use for the gumbo so I bought pork chops, but gumbo and pork chops, that doesn't work. So I'm probably going to have to trip in maybe tomorrow. Because I'll, I'll do a late afternoon into evening fish, like I like doing. So witching hour is what I call it. I'll go in during the day, go grab a couple of things. And um, I'll, med I'll get the fixings for a gumbo. And then I guess maybe I'll do, I'll, I'll film making the gumbo. So I haven't, I don't think I've ever made that on film before. So camp gumbo. Real gumbo too, because I've got. Oh, I gotta check. I I hope my okra didn't go bad. I forgot I had them in my uh, veggie drawer. Shit, they've been in there for well over a week. Oh well, I guess we're gonna be checking that too. They should be okay. What I should have done was throw them in the freezer. I never thought. So. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, Luke, this thing. This one is like the strongest of the three so far. Well, that's the last one now if I want want them uh, he said he was gonna try and find uh, some uh, you know around there you know and see what the price is so I'm like okay so because I just soon you know send the money down to <coughs> Luke and have him you know uh, bring uh, per later them up or something for me anyway we'll see um, but I'm definitely going to be staying with those for sure I really enjoy these I really really do so um, might be even be able to buy them in these parts, but Luke has friends that can probably get them cheaper through him. So, um, so yeah, that's that's kind of it. Garbage day tomorrow, so yeah, groceries. Come back, run a couple loads of uh, the house garbage to the dump. At least that'll be out of the way for now. Um, yeah. That's it. Okay, well, let's call it quits. 12 minutes, so we're under 15. I'm happy. So, all right, everyone. Well, there you go. This was the copy and vlog for September 27th, I said, and uh, 2024. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe, as always. We hit 450 members today. Right on, man. I love having you all out there, and I love the comments, guys and girls. Like, even if I don't answer them, I'll definitely heart them because I or heart them or, you know, whatever the liking thing is, because I read them all. So now if I get something stupid, I just mute it, delete it, whatever. But, you know, uh, I don't answer everybody all the time because, you know, especially right now, it's fall, and I, I haven't stopped running since, like, the, uh, since Sabo Beach, August 12th. I just, whoosh, and I'm still running. So I've got to get new glasses. That's another thing. But anyways, um, so yeah, we hit 450. But yeah, do comment. So, and I mean, if I see something interesting, then I'm gonna I'm gonna comment back to you. So, anyways, Digger, you guys see me and Digger do it, and Diana, I do it with her as well. And uh, um, we talk more privately now on the Patreon. So it's uh, you know not all the time or anything, but I mean uh, that's where we've talked like on the chat thing there recently. So. Um, um, so yeah, so we can join patreon too and there's like pictures and things like that. that I don't put nowhere else. So and uh, um, Patreon I said right please like share and subscribe comment because I like I really do I do enjoy reading them guys like because I'm alone here So it's kind of like this is why digger and I kind of hit it off even though he's like 500 600 miles from me here is because you know He's somebody I'm comfortable talking to, somebody I'm definitely going to get along with when we meet. So, but it's really nice to have someone to talk to, like, you know, and then definitely outside of my normal sphere of things like here. So it's like, yeah. And of course, some of the things he do does interest me to no end. I wouldn't do them because I'm not that smart, like in that kind of thing, like he is. But, you know, fascinates what he does to me with the, with the, 
you know, the, the metal detecting. I mean, the stuff he's been putting on there, all these different things he's getting, it's like freaking wild. And I can't wait to get, anyway, I'm going on again, but I can't wait to get him up here and do some of these back places. I'm going to take him out to these back places. He's been here since the 1800s. Let him loose in those places. I can imagine what he'll find back there. I mean, they just sit there and rot. You know, nobody goes back there. Nobody goes in. So, you know, um, anyway. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. That's why I started with the comment thing. And uh, if you guys want to help out uh, with any costs like dry belts or cat food or whatever, Diana did that, which I'm thankful forever for. Um, I've got the, the canned food. Uh, the cats, of course, love it. Um, um, and she got me that nice, uh, hey, Diana, I've been buying that same food, not the same kind, like the same bag, but, you know, different kinds ever since. That's good food, so they love it. And it's good for them. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so pass, what, what is it again? PayPal.com slash lad from the woods. I caught quite the buzz off this thing. Um, yeah, PayPal.com slash lad from the woods. <laughs> Buymeacoffee.com slash lad from the woods. Okay. All right. Peace. No, 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 no. Be good to your fellow human. That's what I say first. And then I sign off with Mr. Spock and Star Trek, which is peace, long life, live long and prosper. I can't think of a better way to say until next time. Okay? Until next time.